Hi everyone, I'm Donna Louise, and for the love of puzzles, it's time to tackle the pink crypt. Now, previously, I did complete the gold crypt puzzle from Ravensburger. The differences between the gold and the pink, apart from the color, number of pieces, 631 on the gold, 654 on the pink, and the design is different. The gold started out circular, went rectangular, and also finished kind of curvish until it got the border, a nice rectangular border, whereas the pink is spiral in the center and finishes off rectangular. The gold did not have a fully locking border, whereas from what I understand, the pink does. So I'm going to try to do as much as the pink border as I can without looking at the solution key. I'm hoping I'll be able to do it. And then I will try to do as much of the center as possible without looking at the solution key. However, at that point, I'm not gonna let myself get frustrated or annoyed. I will pull out the solution key and I will use it to complete the puzzle. I'll be interested to see how much time it took between the gold and the pink, which one I was able to do quicker. I am going to spend quite a bit of time at sorting the pieces. I think it might help. I don't know, we shall see. I wanted to show you some of the pieces. Now, if this doesn't come across well on camera, I will insert photos. So for example, there's what I like to call like a double piece, I guess. It's pieces that have more than one connector on a side. And these appear on the border as well as within the puzzle. So these are quite interesting pieces. Then they tend to have just wonky donkey shaped pieces that just don't kind of fit any type of norm and I love those they're very interesting and cool to look at now they do have the standard like no prong four prong three prong two prong two prong adjacent uh, pieces one prong that we're familiar with but they have them a lot in two different sizes so here's a three prong castle piece like I like to call it kind of like a typical sized one but then look at this one this one is like huge and kind of a bit wonky. So there's a lot of these bigger pieces. That's why I thought sorting, I'd sort not only by shape, but by size, because those really big ones are easier to pull out. And then right at the center, a lot of those pieces are quite distinct because they have quite a curve on them. They tend to be a bit smaller and they're curvy so that you can pull them out and start the tight spiral. I'm hoping I can do a little bit before I have to pull out the solution key, but like I said, I'm, I'm not fussed that I have to use it. I know that I'm not gonna be able to complete this puzzle without it, unless I would spend like a month doing it, and I don't wanna do that. So, those are the big differences between the two puzzles. I can't wait to get the pink one completed. Have you done the pink one? Um, how do you feel it compares to the gold one, for example? Let me know, leave your comments below. So for the love of puzzles, let's get to building.